everyone, this is Mindy and welcome back to another video for Honeybee Stamps. Today's video is very clean and simple, but I have a couple things I want to talk about with this design. So for today's card, I am using the Pretty Poinsettias stamp set and coordinating die. I'm going to start off by stamping my image. Now I had a whole different plan in mind when I had started stamping this out and it just kind of transitioned as I went along. So I laid out some of the images onto some white cardstock and I'm inking that up with Amalgam Ink from Gina K Designs. This is the Obsidian Ink. So it is Copic friendly, watercolor friendly, everything friendly. It's just a really great ink. And to make sure that nothing smears, I did heat that with a by heat tool a little bit just to dry it so I can color with my Copic markers. So to do my coloring, I will be using RV29, RV14, and RV13. I did end up bringing in a darker color because I wanted a little bit uh, more of a contrast between my light and dark shades that I'm using. And I will bring in, I believe it was RV69. I will have all the colors listed at the top of the screen for you as I go along. I'm starting off, which at this point is RV29, and I'm outlining my shaded, my dark areas. So wherever I think there's going to be a shadow, I'm adding that dark color. So that's going to be where the bows are overlapping each other. And then I also followed with the artist drawn lines. Then I'm blending out with my two lighter colors, which is the RV14 and RV13. Now this was more on the pink side. I kind of wanted it more on the red. This is one of my favorite red combinations. I don't deviate from it too much. This is where I brought in that darker color. And I went back over my shadow areas and then blended out with the other three. So I did end up with a four color uh, combination for this bow to make it into the red color that I wanted. Now, a couple things I wanted to talk about with this card is, like I said, I had a whole different plan in mind for this card. And as the video went along and I was shooting my clips, it just wasn't coming together like I had wanted. It wasn't... Uh, very appealing or eye-catching to me. So what I had done, and I I'm sharing this so that, you know, if you ever fall into a funk and something's just not looking right or even trying too hard, sometimes we just try too hard and it's just not working out the way we want. What I did is I went back through cards that I had created. I went to my Instagram feed. I looked at cards that I loved, not so much what everybody else loved or, you know, how many likes something had. I looked at what I loved, what were my favorite card designs or my favorite colors that I had used. And I settled on something using both of those concepts. And that's where this card actually then sparked from is it's a very clean and simple design. There's not a lot to it, but I love the color choices and I love the layout for it. So I just wanted to advise that, you know, if you ever fall into a spot where it's just not looking right or you don't know what to do with a stamp set, you don't have to use every image off of a stamp set. You can choose something as simple as a bow. The Pretty Poinsettias from Honeybee Stamps has a lot of beautiful floral images, but maybe you're not in the mood for florals. So choosing something as simple as this bow is a great option. And when you get large stamp sets like that, it does give you a lot of options. So after I had finished doing all the coloring that I just talked through, I lined up the coordinating die with some low tack tape and ran that through my die cut machine. So one of my favorite designs I had created within the last couple months was adding just these simple strips to a background. I have four colors that I used. I also really loved this color combination for a Christmas card. They're very unique colors, so non-traditional. Uh, I believe I cut their quarter inch strips and I'm mounting them onto a piece of white cardstock that measures a four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I believe I used Rainforest cardstock, Mermaid, Chili Pepper, and Ballet Slippers cardstock from Lawn Fawn. So beautiful color combination. And I'm just adding those four strips with a tape runner to my white cardstock. And then once I have those down, I'm going to flip it over and just trim off any of the excess that's hanging off the edge of the card. Now I do have uh, another panel there on a white cardstock that I had trimmed down. I believe it was two and a half by four inches. So it's going to be a white panel that I'm going to adhere 
to the middle of my card using some foam tape to give it just a little bit of dimension, something to add to this card since it is a very simple design. And once my panel's in place, I can add my bow using some smaller foam squares as well. Now the bow would have been really cute too if you have a white jelly roll pen. You could add little dots on there to make it polka dots or stripes or even adding some uh, glitter to it like a glitter gloss pen. Any of those would be beautiful for this. They're just simple touches that you can add to your card. Now I'm taking one of the sentiments off of this pretty poinsettias stamp set. I loaded it into my Misty tool with some black cardstock that I prepped with an anti-static powder tool, and I'm going to ink this up with some embossing ink. I decided to go with a gold embossing powder. I thought that would be a really great contrast to my light colored background. So I'm sprinkling on the gold embossing powder, tapping off any of that excess. And then once my heat tool is nice and hot, I can bring that over and melt that embossing powder and the gold just really pops off of this black cardstock. And then I'm gonna take the coordinating die for this sentiment and die cut that out as well. That's one thing I really love with the Honeybee stamps is they have these coordinating dies for the sentiments. And I just love the clean edge that that cuts and even has a little bit of kind of a beveled edge to it. So it's rounded a little bit and it's just a really clean look. So I added some foam squares to the back of that and then put that right under my bow. So while there wasn't a lot to teach about the card, I hope some of these tips help you along the way if you ever struggle in your card making. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. The supplies will be listed down below in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.